How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Sly. We have this area. My controller actually just died, which is fantastic. How much battery do I have? Four bars! Four bars of battery, and apparently my controller doesn't give a shit. I don't remember what we were doing. I think I had gotten all the keys. I need to... I, I think this had been broken open, correct? I believe those are all unlocked, and what was opened up was over here. Check the map. I have two keys to go? Looks like it. This is my least favorite area of the game because I had a really hard time on the boss for some reason. Even though I believe I had already said in a previous video that I would consider myself uh, really good at Rock Band, one of the one of the games that I do consider myself really good at. This might have been the key that I already got. Correct? Yes, that is one of them. I'm pretty good at, at rhythm type stuff, but unfortunately, the rhythm stuff in this game kind of throws me off. It it feels kind of weird. I don't know how else to explain it. What is this guy doing? Oh, this is the... Oh, great. We're gonna have to shoot shit. A ghastly voyage. But, uh, yeah, the boss was my least favorite one. Well, and it's not even the hardest one. outfitted with some sort of high-energy cannon. Use the left analog stick to move and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another. Holy shit, this guy is the best at 360 no-scopes ever. Unfortunately, he just stopped shooting randomly, so... That's great. But, uh, the boss after this chick is fairly easy, I would... If I remember correctly. He's he's pretty easy to avoid, like, all of his shit. And I'm on, like, a really weird angle trying to play this. I don't like it. I don't like being on this weird angle. I don't know why. My TV is at, like, a fucking funky angle. I don't like it. But, uh, yeah, the, the dude that's, like, after this boss is fairly simple, if I remember. He's pretty easy to avoid and shit. Can I, like, fix my TV? Nope, that's as far as it goes. Why does this look so weird? I don't know. I guess I'll just deal with it. First world problems, you know? That's kind of, like, the go-to response for complaints that I have. Like, any anytime I have a complaint about something, someone always responds to first world problems. And I'm sure that's a first world problem response as well. Checkpoint! Let's see. That's why I'm always really hesitant to complain about anything on Twitter or in YouTube videos, because someone always seemingly responds first world problems. And then I just feel like a dick, because it's like, well, yeah, you know, there are a lot of people that have way, way more issues than me. You know, like people who are starving to death. But then it's like, well, you can't complain at all about anything, because, uh, yeah, those people are starving to death, and you're not, so grateful for what you have. I don't know. I just think everyone complains. And I like to complain. It makes me feel better. But, uh, yeah, there's, you know, a bunch of jumbly, jumbly shit there. Let's just get out of this area. According to my paranormal scanner, that flowing soup is really highly charged ectoplasm. It's just got to be the source of power for those headstone generators. Oh, you don't say, Mr. Turtle. You don't say. Well, that's stuff. shit. Oh, man, that was almost terrible. Okay. That almost ended very badly. I'm surprised this hasn't ended worse. Okay, well, you know, just had to open my big mouth, right? Just had to open it. Just had to... Just couldn't shut the fuck up for 12 more seconds, right? Just had to be like, you know, this is going great. Oh, shit, I got my horseshoe back. All right. A lot of, a lot of tokens to be had in this area, apparently. A lot of tokens, so I can... I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, let's just go from here. Fuck you, fuck you. There you go. Stupid... bike thing. Oh, shit. Now I gotta deal with three of these fucking things. Alright. Do a little swivelly swivel. Alright, if I can get rid of fucking one of these... Thank you. One of them is gone now. Now this should be 33% easier. At least. Throwing some, throwing some equations, throwing some percentages, some fractions. A third, easy. Well, now it's two thirds easier. I wasn't even. Oh shit! A little, a little too close to that guy. Let me get some more, some more tokens here. I can't wait to get more into the second one. Where the fuck am I supposed to go here? Uh, wait a minute. There? That was. I thought I fucking went over there. Whatever. Could have swore that could have sworn that I had gone over into that area. I was wondering like where the hell I needed to go. Apparently, just to that one spot. So we only have one more key to go, and then we can uh, fail on the olden boss, which 
which is just great. It's like such an easy concept, but I am like just off with the timing. I don't like it. Oh shit. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toting roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? How much does the average chicken weigh? You know, just, just like the meat and stuff. So we gotta go whack all these chickens in uh, a minute and 30 seconds. And then we, we need to watch out for the stupid bomb roosters that come out, which are assholes. Basically, you just need to make them run into each other, which isn't too hard. But unfortunately, I still do have issues with this. This was like gimmick central over here. Oh shit. Eh. Yeah, fuck you. I don't know if you can melee them and that fucks them over, but I just I just try to get them to run into each other. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck you guys. I just try to get them to run into each other. I had a fun time with this the first time I tried it. So I guess I can just keep running around. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay. Well. Looks like I'm gonna have a fun time again. Oh, shit. Go! Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Oh man, that was that was lucky. That was lucky. God damn it, why are they coming out like way fast? Shit, shit, shit. Hit each other! Thank you. Where are all these chickens sitting at? Over here. Oh fuck. Eh. Eh. There was a pretty good fucking pattern that I had figured out like when I played through this originally, but. This dude lived to this, and the dude lived to that, and they run into each other. Fantastic. I have 17 seconds. I don't think I'm gonna get this, especially, yeah, with that. Alright! Second time is possibly the charm. Maybe. I have five lives to do this, apparently. Not like it matters, because it'll just reset me here regardless. Yeah, I eventually had figured out, like, a pretty good path to run through. And apparently I forgot it. It's just like you run this way, and then you just get them to run into each other. But being assholes and fucking run into each other! Come on! Okay, I didn't get hit. Jeez. Stupid ass cocks. Hope they die. Alright. Wait right here. Do a little bit of that. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. We got some chickens to hit. Man, how, how many, like, the oh, fuck? Pounds is the average chicken. Because if this guy needs 50 chickens, I would assume each chicken weighs over. Oh, wow. Wow. Alright, game, thank you. I'm glad I ran directly into that. I assume each chicken would weigh over a pound or so. You know, just putting that out there. I, I would assume a couple pounds. So this guy's gonna make like a 50 pound pot of chicken gumbo. Like, are you kidding me? At least a 50 pound? I don't know how I don't know how much a chicken weighs, to be completely honest. Like I'm sure I'm sure there are different different oh, come on, thank you. I'm sure there are different sizes for chickens, but you know, I didn't grow up on a farm. I grew up in Chicago, and if you're uncertain what Chicago is, it's pretty sure the... Th How do they not run into each other? Come on! Fucking run into each other! God damn it. Pretty sure, currently, it's still the third largest city in the United States. I don't know what it is ranked in the world, but... Probably still up there, even though it's losing population as time goes on. People don't want to be living in Chicago anymore, and I don't blame them. It's not the greatest place in the world, but it's pretty cool. You should go there sometime if you haven't gone. I highly recommend it. Good place to visit. Just don't go to, like, the west side or the northwest side. Actually, the northwest side might be good. Just, just stay away from certain parts of the west side. And I only have... Fuck. Okay, I don't have very long for this. I need seven more and... Oh, my God. Oh, I'm gonna die. Fuck me, man. Seriously, I have, like, four fucking chickens left. Damn it. I don't want to do this anymore. These stupid bomb roosters, like, why do they even exist? Who has a farm that has bomb roosters on it? Like, why would you even need that? I don't understand. Is it to, like, chase away criminals? Like, chicken thieves and shit? Alright, there you go. Alright, there's like four of them in this corner over here just camping. Bunch of assholes. Why did this fucking ghost do this shit himself? Alright, 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 there you go. That, that was almost really bad. That was that was some pretty high hopes and dreams type situation there. Alright, oh fuck. Ugh! Oh, come on, the one went like all the way around, are you kidding me? Come on, hit each other! Fuck you guys, Jesus. 
This gets tense, all right? Here, kill you, kill you. All right, get you over there, get you over there. There you go. That was that was a pretty stress-free, pretty stress-free run right there. Go ahead and hit this corner. Hit that, hit that. Oh, God, there we go. Okay. Come on, I need three more. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the three. Give me, stop fucking around, game. I think that was the fourth try. That was the third or fourth try, so whatever. I did it. No fucking roosters better come out and screw me over. And that should be the final key of the area. The Swamp's Dark Center. And back we go. Fucking stupid shit. What am I stuck on? Alright. I have the hiccups. Can I just, like, get rid of this by... Oh, okay. Well, that worked out. Well, the keys should be good to go. I just don't know where to put said keys. Um, no, I need to go back over here. Fuck. I just needed to go this way. Alright. There's, like, a little platform over here that I need to stand on to go ahead and frag out my keys. And here it comes. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Frag out! Ugh. There you go. And so, it is unlocked. I believe everything is unlocked, right? That should be all the keys, correct? Uh, I don't see any glowing things left, so that should be all of them. Yep, there we go. Try jumping on the lid of that cauldron to build up steam pressure. I'm sure it'll work to launch you up into Ms. Ruby's Skull Temple. Well, thank you very much for the, uh, I just killed myself. Thank you for the, the tip there. Because, uh, I would have figured that out eventually, but not right away. This is gonna suck with two lives. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill the boss on only two lives. Is this good? Are we good to just, like, jump over here? How the fuck do I get over there? Anyway, can I just, like, jump over here? Oh, nope. There's a very easy way.